In this How to 360 on Skis video, you get to tag along with me and Nico as I'm coaching him. He's a two-time camp guest, so we're going to see some nice intermediate common mistakes on 360s. We start out improving his popping, then do 180s, and finally some 360s. Enjoy the ride. All right, Nico, so let's warm up the pop and make sure we get that nicely dialed in before we start spinning. Uh, let's undo the top of the ski boots. Because right. if you open the ski boot, they feel, it feels more like jumping in your socks. And we all can jump in our socks pretty well. Show me a perfect pop. That was pretty good. I don't like your arms though. They're like sloppy. Yeah. Get them out and keep them there. Yeah. And you can be a little bit wider between your legs. Hip width is slightly wider. Just right. so that you're ready. That's going to help you with the spins later on. Nice. And from the side, it's going to look something like this. Nice. That's yeah. super sick. Should we try a couple of spins too? Yeah, sure. Look into the camera and uh, show your best. <laughs> uh, 180 to get started. Nice. One more. What you can notice within that uh, many beginners do wrong is that they kind of go down really deep and twist a lot. If you twist a lot, you got to move your center of gravity onto one foot. And then when you pop on skis, you're going to chuck the weight really crooked. And that's not the idea. Let's see if you can do a 360. This is when things can get a little wonky. Ooh, pretty good. You're doing wonderfully. Good job from the feet. Knees, hip, it's all really nicely tuned together. Now it's just the arms, they're like a little bit lazy. Okay. If you have the hands further out, you can then set off more rotation with like less degrees of a wind up if they're far out. Ooh, pretty good. I think he's ready to go and uh, practice some pops of jumps and then we start spinning. That's a nice pop, Nico. So we send arms out, look forward, full extension, and land with chin pressure. Oh yeah, good landing, mate. If you want to come here and learn too, there's a link in the description for more information about our freestyle, ski technique, and free ride caps. Hope to see you at one of them. All right, uh, so Nico, this is a really nice spot to practice spinning, because we can drop in from here with almost no speed at all and the jump is flat and then it's pretty steep. So I want you to, when you pop a set off the rotation, I want you to feel that the shoulders are moving forwards in that pop. Yeah. So that you land like on the heels, perpendicular to the landing. Okay. All right, really nice. Wow, that was a little sketchy of me. Yeah, that's the one. But you can see here, when the toes are at the end of the jump, you still haven't fully extended the legs yet. And you're kind of looking down a fair bit. Nice walk. Should we do a 180 here as well? Yep. That's all we to be smooth. Like a nice smooth wind up. And gentle pop. Did you feel like you were hinging a little? The timing was not right. Next time. Oh, yeah. That was really sick. You had you dared to have so much speed too. Look at that pop there. That's like pretty full extension. Huh. Maybe it's like half a ski boot too early, but that's quite alright, isn't it? First of all, I'd like you to have the arms forwards and out a little bit more. But if they'd be a little bit more out, I think you would have nice timing. Because here you've twisted the upper body 45 degrees already on takeoff. So if you would have them a little bit further out and have a little bit of wind up, you can have nicer timing okay. so that when you extend at the end of the jump, everything is more or less pointing straight down the hill. 
Oh wow. <laughs> what, what do you think about that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's shit. <laughs> it's shit. I think the, the lack of speed made it harder for you to do everything right. But look here, you already extended your when the nose of the ski has barely left the jump. So you're far too early and you're looking kind of down and behind you, which kind of, you know, it doesn't help you to move forward. Just a couple quick tips on 360s. First of all, you wanna, if you look at my zipper, that's where the center of gravity is for me now. Try to keep it in the middle between your legs at all times. So it's important to wind up that you stay in the middle, that you don't move sideways. So just a couple of degrees of wind up, but the arms really far out. And then you can do a 360 with ease. We saw with Nico that he started twisting the skis too early in the jump. It's often a sign of pushing off from the heel. I like to think of it more like a normal jump where you push off from the toe. Because then the, this edge is going to do a better job of gripping the snow when I'm pushing up. Because if you push off with the heel, that happens. But with the toe, it has a tendency to grip the snow better. So the arms are out, I'm winding up. I'm popping and pulling. Nice pop. Nice pop. Big wind up. Yeah. Medium yeah. big, but the arms far out. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get it too. Okay, as a challenge, let's see if I can do a five. All right. <laughs> if I can do a five, maybe you can do a three. Yeah! That was sick. How can we do this better, you think? I don't like how you look at your head. That's like, boom. You want to look down so much. And I think it's doing you no favors on the pop. As you can see how the whole body is tilting up the hill. So I think we would need to go back to what we've been practicing all morning. Pop, rotate. All right, Nico, to fix your head, let's try to do a couple of 180s to 200 to slope spin with a head perfectly up yeah. looking over the shoulder. Okay. I like it to be one fluid motion so you get used to like really looking around that shoulder. Yeah. Like this. Nice. Exactly like that. Yes. Nice. Better kept my head up and I think that was uh, the key. How do you feel about that? Not bad. That's pretty right. Pretty good job. Obviously you've got to spin really fast. So you're yeah. rotating like 90 degrees before you're taking off the snow. Mm -hmm. uh, but what you're doing so great is that the pop is quite powerful. And look how you're looking like around the shoulders that are down now. And you can spot the line nicely and you land pretty much perpendicular to the landing. Yeah. Freaking great. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. All right. Nice. Now to the big jumps. And here's a tip for you watching. This is quite common that things go well where the jumps are small and the speed is low because it's less fear. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then when you go on the bigger jumps where it's more, more speed, more fear. You start oh. to overthink it. Yeah. You know? And everything we practice goes a little bit out of yeah. the window. So it's a good idea to often like, you try it on say medium sized jumps, 360, it's not going well. Bring it down to more beginner sides for a bit. And then make it bigger again, and then smaller again. Uh, and then maybe even bigger. Hope you enjoy watching Nico struggle and learn 360s. Uh, it's been a hell of a ride, <laughs> uh, but finally I, I stomped some of them and uh, let's take it from there. Yeah. I uh, wonder who enjoyed it most. You guys watching the struggle or you doing the struggle and achieving it? I think you enjoyed it the most. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. It was all my pleasure. Yeah. Like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.